Hey, karibu. Asante sana. How yeah. you doing? Good, good. It's good to be here. Yeah. Uh, JCB Ganata plant and equipment. Yeah. Amazing, amazing collection of machines oh. you have here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But of course, the focus right now is this beast. Yes. It's small but powerful. Yes. But first of all, why a backhoe loader? What, what does yeah. that name represent? This, this actually, plant? this backhoe loader, we invented it in 1953. Mm. And since then, we have been innovating it and to what it is today. Mm -hmm. And why the backhoe loader? This is a machine that combines two key benefits. You have a benefit of a loader arm, which is what, is which is on the front side, side of the machine, and an excavator arm, which is on the rear side. Oh, but wait a minute, something doesn't look right here. Yeah, I mean, there are two elements in this. Uh, you call it a bucket. Yeah, it's a bucket. Which seems it can do more than just scoop. Oh yes. Why is it? Why is there space? in between here i thought it would just be a bucket no that. it's a very smart invention actually mm -hmm. one of the inventions if you just see here yes on this one mm -hmm. this is called a general purpose bucket general purpose general bucket. purpose bucket okay. but what we do with this machine is we have actually put as standard mm -hmm. a multi-purpose bucket what extra it can do it's a dozer at the back yes then we have the grader the grader and it's a loader and the loader yes wow and it grabs wow. so it's a grabber right it backfills right. so you can just go once you've made your trenches right. it can just go open up and fill the place it looks like it's packed with so much now we are just at the first yeah. wheel base where are we right now on this truck now look at this bonnet the bonnet line here was made because of the visibility. The operator, the operator. can yes, operator can yeah. see, and it's a one bonnet, one style bonnet. So you just lift it up like your normal bonnet for the car. Yes, just one correct. Open and you've and it's very to the easy. Engine. Yes, I mean when you come here, all your the engine is right on ground level. Mm -hmm. So your checks, like you can come and check the engine, mm -hmm. oils and everything. The daily checks mm -hmm. can be done on ground level. Right. When you make it very difficult exactly. for the operator, he will not do it will every not day. Do it every day, exactly. So and that was my next question to help because yes. many machines have such access covered, and yes. this one is not uh, covered. Yes. Now, is that part of the advantage of um, leaving this open and at least giving it access to the operator? Yes, easy it, access. It's very easy access to the operator, mm -hmm. and with our climate condition, it's very good that we have. Uh, Airflow, exactly. Yeah, to cool the engine. Just tell, tell us a bit about the wheelbase. Okay, the tires like moving when it, and when, mobility. When it comes to mobility, it's a four-wheel drive gearbox. Yes, manual gearbox, synchro shutter, mm -hmm. and this thing can actually road for 40 kilometers per hour. And then, of course, the JCB, the 3DX, moves itself, takes itself to site, mm -hmm. walks around the site, mm -hmm. in between sites, mm -hmm. and drive itself home. Right. Let's have a look at the office. This, then, of course, I call this the operator's office. Just, yes. Just as we get to that. Now, yes. Please step in. Ah. Uh, I've got a nice dashboard here, and see how it looks yes, comfortable. You, you will notice that it's a ergonomically automotive style dashboard. One of the most important features in the cab, of course, is the hour meter. Hour meter, which right. is just there. Yeah. This? Yes, there's an hour meter right. because this machine works from uh, with hours, so it tells you how much it's worked. Very important ah, for ah. the owner. Exactly. To know. To keep tabs. To keep tabs on, on how, how much been used. his investment has worked, how exactly. much has gone. Right now, so here, there are two sides inside here. There's the front part. Yes. And the, there are other controls <laughs> behind here. Now, this is where you're working on the front loader end. Fantastic. Yes. When you decide to work on the rear side, yes. Then you only have to yes. I can do a complete how many 180 degrees, degrees, degrees? 180 degrees and start working on the excavator end. <laughs> Amazing, man. Yes. Tell you. Very many people would prefer <laughs> whoa. So to whoa. work this way. So it's very clear. You wow. can hear and feel uh, you the can wind feel blowing in. in. Yeah. Okay. So I'm and somewhere uh, in some semi-arid part of the country and the heat is so much. I'm covered. I don't, I don't even need the fan. Yes. Then it's a bit like the breeze coming in. Though we do have coffee. options on air conditions, right. air conditioner, but for this country, right. and we don't bring very many of them. One thing I must commend you is just how much you really put the operator in mind. Because 
this I'm comfortable. If I enjoy this type of yes. work, that means working inside this small space. I wouldn't yeah. even realize it's a small space. Mm. I'm comfortable. We yeah. actually believe mm. that an comfortable operator yes. is a productive operator. Definitely. You can imagine him working here from morning to <laughs> evening. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So this is the excavator end. Right. You know, we are one of the inventors of the side shift chases. Side side shift shift chases. Yeah. So right. what happens is yes. you can actually this can shift from one side to another. You so it's not just welded in the middle. Right. And of course there's a very big good reason for it. Mm -hmm. If you are actually doing trenching, which this machine is very, very well building. known for, yes. It's building trenches. So if you have a wall here. Yes. And you're supposed to build a trench just here. So you can actually bring it right to the end. So pretty much what you're saying is that the operator can move this bit yes. and move it all the way here. All the way here. Yes, the, the machine. Itself. Now I've seen some very interesting machines here. This is welding. I'm not understanding why this is welded. So the, why 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 this? Why is it so open that Yeah, it's very interesting. It's actually <laughs> very interesting. Uh, like I told you, when JCB designed something, it's always for a purpose. Right. These are called keyhole castings. You can see them, they're in the shape of a keyhole. The work for this is to distribute the stress in the core right. machine so this to, throughout. So, so that's what it does. Here, yeah? So it will not break easily. You will not see a JCB boom deeper or the loader arm body is just off. breaking off easily. Right. And also this like we call them the fish tails, the extra weldings that go there. Mm -hmm. All this is just to distribute stress. Again, coming to versatility, mm -hmm. this machine, I mean, not only this bucket, we have buckets of different sizes. Exactly. So it depends on what kind of work you want to do. Which brings me to this question. Yeah. That of course boggles many potential customers. Yes. This is not cheap. This is yes. not, uh, you can't just walk in and say, fine, today I want to buy a backhoe loader 3DX. I, was, I think I'm coming up with a farm somewhere, it might help yes. me or something. But you recently announced some great offering in terms of financing. And this should be some great news for anybody who's looking at this video right now. Yes. And thinking, hey, I needed a backhoe, backhoe loader, but now I think I have a solution. So tell us a bit about the offering this of is, the financing. This is actually the stepping stone mm -hmm. for every any construction company or anybody who's planning to do any leasing or something. It was a great investment. Right. So we came up with a finance plan by, the, of course, the help of GCB support mm -hmm. from UK mm -hmm. on anybody who is who wants to buy this machine right now. Fantastic. Yes. The leasing bit. Yes. How can I, as an individual who has maybe the five million, yes, and I want to make more money out of it, how, how what advantages do I have there? Is there a business enough to lease oh. it on a daily basis? Is there enough market out there to actually give me confidence that I'm going to get five million from the bank and say, I'm looking to make 10,000 bob yes. per day. How yes. is the market in terms of Oh, I'll money? tell you one of my leading categories mm. where I sell is in the leasing business. Le is leasing that one business. man that, right? comes leasing to me, business. one man or woman mm. who comes to me and tells me I have this much money I would get into the, I want to get into the leasing business. Mm -hmm. So what happens is they get this machine, acquire this machine, mm -hmm. and uh, I, w I was surprised as well when I found out the rates that people charge. Yes. We charge like one of the most expensive, we have the most expensive rates in the world. One of the most wow. expensive. The daily rate. The daily For rate. Leasing one so of it's like about 20,000. That's minimum. On the minimum, minimum side, yes. like about 20, 25,000 a day. Wow. And then, of course, you can see for a 5 million shillings, if you're doing 25,000 a day mm. and you work for 20 days, not even 30 <laughs> days, that's half a million. You've so, covered your return of investment. Yes, exactly. In that case, would be about 10 months. So it's very simple. For 5 million bob, and it's not restricted to 5 million bob because the price ranges depending on the type exactly. of the accessories you buy on these machines. But you are set to make not less than 20,000 bob per day on a leasing agreement. All you need to do is just come and see Suhail. 
he'll sort you out in terms of acquiring one and you could go back and rest easy. 20,000 bob per day. When you have this, you probably done one of the best investments you can ever do. Sounds, sounds, sounds. You will good. sleep in peace. You have the world's <laughs> number one back for Luda Definitely. with you. So Definitely. it's it's about confidence you exactly. will have exactly. and believe me it is when it comes you'll be uh, uh, very proud because you're not sure. just any machine right. it's a premium brand remember this is an investment worth thinking about there's so many things out there to invest in but as you heard from Suhail this is a solution for any businessman who who feels like he's got the the confidence and he's got the, the, the muscle to be able to afford a machine like yeah. this and make a good and great investment. As you heard from Sahil, it will bring it back yes. in a matter of weeks. Return of days. investments is great. Exactly. We are here to take care of you. We'll hold your hand and we'll take you through this journey. Fantastic. This is the right time for you to come and get yourself a back hole loader because mm -hmm. this price is fantastic. So now Suhail, I want you to hold yes. my hand yes. so that we negotiate about the Let's price. Let's go and yes. we talk in the office. Yes. Thank you. <laughs>